Welcome back to Raid Shadow Legends. We are going to solo Doom Tower Hard Floor 100, the Scarab King with Vergus. And I know this might be old news to you, but we did this before with two Vergus, and you could no longer do that. Since 3.2 changed, now the boss will hit you multiple times depending on how many buffs you have up. An additional time every time you have a buff up. Read here at 3.2 changes. This happened a couple weeks ago. He now places one hit for each buff on the target instead of one hit total, which actually it's one additional hit. So for every, you're always going to be hit one time. And then if you have four buffs up, you're going to get hit four more times. So five times total with four buffs. That's why two Vergus do not work anymore. Somebody said yesterday that my old video is no longer accurate and why is it not working? This is why it's not working. They changed this guy a couple weeks ago. So today on stream, we went and changed up our Vergus so that we can now solo it. So we're going to show you what to do, how it works, what can happen. Doing this, you'll be able to solo the hardest Scarab King that we have on Doom Tower Hard Floor 100. Also, I'll put this spreadsheet down below, which will tell you all the accuracies and speed and resistance that you need for anything in the Doom Tower. Just pull it up. You'll be able to see here, we do need to be around 225 speed. This is floor 100, as you can see, hard. Borgoth, the Scarab King, he has 330 resistance. We don't really care about the resistance. We're not trying to do an Armager Cold Heart, try to drop his turn meter with a lure so that we can make sure he never takes a turn. We're not doing that with this. We're soloing, so we don't care about his resistance. What we care about is his accuracy. He can steal from us, he can remove buffs, and we do not need that to happen. So we need to be about 300 resistance to feel comfortable fighting him. I'm at around 350, so whatever you see happens right now is just RNG. It's just RNG and it can happen. So keep an eye out for it. This is why you might get a failure, but just rerun it. You will be fine. First thing I'm going to do is show you a failure and why it's failing and explain it all really quick. And then we'll go through the whole entire run. It's very easy to do. Check this out. So he's going to get a region. Whenever he drops below 50% HP, he gets a region. But this boss is going to remove it because he's got a chance to on these three hits. Did you see it up? Did you see the region up and then the boss removed it? If this happens, we are now underneath 50% HP and we cannot climb back up there. It's very hard to do. It's not going to happen with the gear we have on right, right now because we have a destroy set on to make it much faster than it normally would be. And as you can see, we are going down quickly. So if that happens, that is why. But don't worry. I mean, his accuracy is 230 or whatever we just said it was. I've got 350 resistance. It's not a matter of resistance. No matter how much resistance you have, no matter how much accuracy you have, you can always have a failure like that, so just rerun it. We, the first thing we do when we fight this boss is we're going to need people to clear the waves. It doesn't matter. They're going to die. We're going to put in a lead to give us some more HP. You can put in whoever you want. If you want to put in more resistance as a resistance lead, you can do that as well. We need these people to get us through here so we're not here all day long. Right? We just want to get through here fast. Bring in fragile damage dealers. Don't bring in anybody that's going to last because if you are going to die on the way, they're going to die here on this wave as well. And then they're definitely going to die right away on the boss. And to do it even easier, just make sure Vergus doesn't protect them when you get to the boss. So you can just move it along, right? All you're trying to do is move this whole thing along so that you can go get your coffee, go get your sandwich, and come back and come back to a win so you can proceed through the Doom Tower. Get all those juicy rewards. So you can see we're going to lose a few people here. It's still on full auto. We're not worried about anything. We're just going to get through this, get to the boss, and then now when we get to the boss, like I said, make sure Vergus does not do his A2 because they don't have high resistance. So the boss will steal from them and make your fight even longer. And you don't want that, right? Nobody wants a longer fight than it already is right now. So I did the A1 manual, then I put it back on auto. They're dead. I mean, they're dead. Nothing they can do about that. Now, Vergus. Vergus is the only epic in the game that I know that can solo this boss. If you know of another epic out there that can do it, let me know. I know people do say Madam Sirius, but you know, I don't think, I don't think Madam Sirius is the best for this because we have Vergus in a destroy set and then we've got him in a two piece immortal set to give him a little bit of regen there that you see every once in a while. I don't think it matters that you have that set. You just need to have him in a destroy set. And then we do have him with a war master proc so that we can get a little damage from war master. It actually adds up. We did this run on stream without war master and it took us about 10 minutes longer to do it. So shaving off 10 minutes from your time helps. Do you have to have War Master? No. If you needed to go down and get additional resistance in the defensive mastery tree, you could do that. That would be totally fine. You're just going to add 10 minutes onto your run. You're going to have to really go away for about 30 minutes, honestly, and then come back to it and you will have won. As long as the boss didn't get lucky and steal or remove that buff from you. 
And that's the only thing that'll happen here because Vergus will drop below 50% HP and then he will always heal himself above 50% HP, take an additional turn. And then if he ever drops down below 50% again, he will always get that regen up. And then he's got shields. Every time he takes damage, he gets a 10% shield on him. Of course, the gear we have on him right now is all HP. We don't worry about defense on Vergus at all. All we want is just max HP everything. I'll show you the whole entire gear. I'll show you his masteries. And as long as you can get around those numbers, you will be fine. And with the masteries, of course, we're getting additional speed once our teammates die off. That's good. We can do that so we can get up to the speeds we need. If you need a resistance lead or if you need a more HP lead, like a higher HP lead, as long as, it, again, it's somebody that's going to die when we get to the boss, then you'll be good. You don't want somebody that's going to stick around. Honestly, this is kind of a one-man thing. Vergus is, can do it on his own. If you have somebody that sticks around, Vergus is going to apply buffs on them. This boss is probably going to steal them. And then, of course, it's going to blow up that person anyways. Because, again, this boss now gets additional hits per buff that you have up. As you can see, sometimes Vergus gets hit two times. Sometimes he gets hit three times. It's always one hit plus whatever additional buffs you have up. There you go. He only got us with two there. Right now, if he hit us, he'd hit us for four. Four additional hits. So that is what's causing us to lose now. Where before, he only ever did one total hit. So it's very easy to do. Let's go look at here and see what I'm talking about. So we're looking at the Scarab King over here in the Doom Tower. And you can see here, attacks all enemies, places an extra hit on each enemy for each buff on the target. Also has a chance to steal if we're not under shields, but we're always going to be under shields with Vergus. But he does have a chance to remove then if you are under a shield. And that's what happened to us that one time where he removed our regen and it caused us to fail. Will it always cause us to fail if he removes a regen? Not always. Sometimes we'll be above 50% HP, so we won't have to worry about it. But just keep an eye on it. If you're failing, that's why. And it's very random. It does not happen very often. Just keep rerunning it again and you'll pass it. Now, somebody did say that they've done it with Madam Sirius. I don't know how long it would take with her to give her enough regen, even though she puts a shield on herself every turn, to give her like a regen set. Because we did have Vergus in a regen set. And he was healing 15% of his max HP, which is a lot of life. But it was taking forever. That means we never beat down the shield. And right now we've even got him with War Master, which kind of is doubling up on like War Master's doing 754 right now. Because to take this boss down below its threshold, if you don't take it down below its thresholds at all with the destroy set, if you don't know how this boss works, you will only ever do 10% damage. It doesn't matter what the effect is that you're trying to do damage to this boss, it will only ever take 10% of that. Look at that. Sometimes we get two regens because we get above 50, below 50%, then we get above right away, then we get another regen up. I mean, Vergus can take care of himself. He's always got a shield up from his passive. He's going to do the job. And then with this, with this destroy set that we have on him, I don't know. The game has a thousand turn limit. So if you go over a thousand turns and you're done fighting this boss and it tries to reconnect into the server to say, hey, we're done, it will give you an error and not let you complete it if you go over a thousand turns. So with doing Madam Cirrus or somebody else like that, where you're not actually doing a destroy set, where you have no way to get back life, I just don't know how it's going to be. I don't see how anybody on Doom Tower Hard 100 can go few enough rounds to actually get that done. But let me know down below what your thoughts are. And if you've seen it before, and if you have, we'll try it out on stream tomorrow. We'll load up a Madam Cirrus with HP gloves, HP chest, HP boots, enough speed that she's over 225 or right at it. We'll give her a regen set along with whatever. It doesn't really matter. She'll stay alive. We're not going to worry about her dying. But she's not going to, I mean, she's going to do, I just can't believe it's going to work because she'll only do 10% of her damage and her damage isn't that high with that kind of gear on. Nobody's damage is. And as you can see with the War Master procs, you can clearly see now we're at 200, 2,877 for a War Master proc there. Before we first started off, when we had them down so far, we were only doing 700. I think in the very beginning, we might have been doing 400. And then eventually we'll get to a War Master proc, but this guy doesn't even have that much HP. But it still cuts our time by 10 minutes because we're basically doing double damage because we're only hitting look we hit for 1600 on a crit and then we got a war master proc for 289 and then eventually that proc will go up to whatever max can be you know 7000 8000 whatever it is once we get a shield down all the way and we're done mitigating he's done mitigating our damage we'll be fine with that 
And if again, if you don't know how this boss works, just go over here and look here and you'll be able to see everything that this boss does. He'll decrease 90% of the damage if his max HP is not decreased more than 10%. And you can see that big kind of shield, fat shield on the top. And then over here we do 60. He'll ignore 60%. So we're only doing 40% damage to him. And then down here he'll ignore 30%. And then once we get down there, things start moving. And then once we blow the shield off, of course, he'll take 100% of the damage. So that's what we're working toward getting to. That's why we want that destroy set on. And without that destroy set, we would be here forever. And again, we've only got a thousand turn limit. So I don't know how long that would take with somebody else out there. So for me... I think Vergus is the only real reliable option to do this boss. But again, we'll try it. You just let us know the numbers you're at and what you're using with Madam Cirrus and if you know of any other epics out there that can do it. But let's skip forward and see what we've got. Skip forward. Time goes on. Same old stuff. Same old stuff. We're getting at the very end. And we are down to 16 minutes. I think we did it on stream when I was on Unlimited Frames in 14 minutes, almost 15. Before, when we didn't have War Master, we did it in over 25 minutes. So a pretty big difference, up to you, whatever you wanna do, I'm gonna show you the masteries in the gear right now. Remember to bring in Fragile DPS to get you through those waves so you'll get it through faster. And then also, whatever you wanna put for this aura here, you can bring in HP, you can bring in resistance, whatever you need to get your Vergus to those numbers, you'll be fine. Get him around 300 resistance. I don't believe you need this Immortal set. This Immortal set is nice, it's giving him a little bit of heals, but it's really nothing compared to his region. You can put whatever else you want on him. His original masteries had him with additional resistance, I believe, and then something else. But we switched it around because we knew we were going to have teammates dying off, and we wanted to get this additional 24 speed, which really helps you out to get to that speed threshold of 225 that you need. Now, you don't have to be over 225. You don't have to be at 225. You can be a little bit under, but don't be too slow. You can be around 220, 215, I think will work just fine, but don't be any slower than that. You don't want the boss to lap you. You definitely do not want it to lap you. You've got other things in here that we don't even need for him. Things for shields, turn meter increase whenever a buff falls off this. This is very good. We'll get turn meter increase from that quite often during that fight with all of it. HP here. Then we just came down here to give him War Master to help speed up the runs for us. That's really the only reason. Of course, he's booked. We don't need him booked for this. Just keep in mind, he's soloing. We don't need him booked anymore. We do not need him booked whatsoever. Don't worry about damage. All I've got is HP, HP, HP. Again, as much HP as possible. HP, we've got a resistance banner, and the rest is just whatever you can do to get the speed and the resistance that you need. All you need is around, see, I've got him at 210 speed, but we're going to get 24 from our people dying. And then I've got him at 348 resistance, which isn't necessary at all. All you need is around 300 and you'll be fine. Get that resistance banner. If you don't want to worry about War Master and you want to do a 25 minute run, it worked just the same. You have nothing to worry about. You don't need War Master. Come down here and get Unshakable, the plus 50 resistance. Make it easier for you to gear him. And if you need additional resistance, Go get your destroy set and then get a two-piece resistance set to give you another additional 50. Just look for resistance substats like I have here on the neck. HP with the resistance substat. Resistance banner with speed, of course. And then anything else you can do with some. Do you need to worry about crit and critical damage? No. Don't worry about any of that. The guy's not going to die. You're going to slowly beat the boss and solo it with Vergus. So I'm sorry about the old information back in the day. When it came out, we could use two Vergus. We could use all those champions. Now they have changed this boss. With Vergus protecting Vergus, it just doesn't work anymore because there's so many buffs up then. When the boss goes to hit them, it just does so many hits, it kills them outright. This is the new solo Vergus. If you have any questions or comment, please leave them down below. Subscribe if you have not, and I will see you guys all in a video soon.